I'm Mrs Southern and I'm going to be teaching the A level PE qualification. We are doing PE with the OCR exam board. Um, you'll be examined from three papers with three different topics. So the first paper is your physiological factors affecting your performance. Your second paper is psychological factors affecting your performance. And your third paper is social cultural factors affecting your performance. You then have different non-exam assessments um, in the course. So the first one is an oral assessment, which is about evaluating a performance, where you have to identify strengths and weaknesses, and then tell them an action plan on how to improve, and that will be moderated within school. The second one is for a practical assessment. So you'll be assessed on your physical sporting abilities, or if you prefer, you can also get assessed on your coaching abilities. Paper one is a two hour paper, which is 30% of the total A-level marks and it is a 90 mark examination. Paper two is also a written paper that is a one hour exam, which is worth 20% and so is paper three, another one hour paper with 20% um, of your total marks. What type of candidate are we looking for for A-level PE? So we're looking for someone who has studied GCSE PE and hopefully achieved a grade six or above. We're looking for someone who participates regularly in a club outside of school or coaches regularly in a club outside of school. We're also looking for hardworking and dedicated students as lots of revision will be required. Some people think that PE is an easy option, but I can tell you for certain that it isn't. It is really heavily weighted on your examinations and there'll be lots of revision needed. A-level PE would be perfect for somebody who's looking to go into PE teaching or physiotherapy, something within the sporting sector. Um, medicine is also advised because we learn a lot about the anatomy. Um, so we're looking forward to you joining us in A-level PE next year.